The new AMD Radeon RX 7600 8GB graphics card is finally here. Let's have a look if it is worth buying by comparing it to other similarly priced graphics cards from Nvidia and AMD. Before that, a quick message from my sponsor. CDKeyOffer.com is my number one choice for when I need to buy a cheap Microsoft software key. They are a reliable provider of affordable keys to me, my friends and the channel community for over two years now, so highly recommend it. Use my discount code IVADIM to get 30% off an already amazing price and grab yourself a Windows 10 Pro for $16, Windows 11 Pro for $23 or Office 2021 for just $52. You can use PayPal for fast and secure payment and get your key instantly. Links to all these products are in the description below. Firstly, I would like to highlight that the RX 7600 and RX 6650 XT specifications are nearly identical, with the main difference being that the RX 7600 consumes slightly less energy. However, the RX 7600 is here to replace the RX 6600, so let's compare it to that GPU as well. At 1080p, the RX 7600 is 24% faster than the RX 6600 and just 3% better than the 6650 XT it has so much in common with. At 1440p, it is 26% faster than the RX 6600 and 5% faster than the 6650 XT. If we compare the $270 RX 7600 to the RX 6600, then the generation of a generation improvement looks okay. Not great, but acceptable. Especially if we take into consideration the fact that the RX 6600 had a $329 MSRP at launch. However, that was a bad price to begin with. As expected, once the market has stabilized, the RX 6600 price has been fluctuating between $270 and $230 since August of last year and is now at its all-time low at $220. Additionally, the RX 6650 XT could be found for around $280 to $270 consistently from November last year. If the price drop is going on for that long, then you may as well call it an official price drop. So, taking that into consideration, I think we should compare the RX 7600 to the RX 6650 XT instead. Looking at it from this perspective, I don't see why AMD created the RX 7600 in the first place. 3-5% performance increase is beyond underwhelming. The way I see it, there was no reason to wait for the RX 7600 because you could buy this performance for the same money for many months now. And right now a 6650 XT can be had for as low as $250. But if I were to spend exactly $270 on a GPU today, then I would pick the RX 6700 instead. I left the link in the description in case you are interested in picking it up. The RX 6700 is a much better choice because it performs better and comes with 10 GB of memory. Trust me, you do want that 2 extra GB of memory. Even right now, there are games out there which require more than 8 GB to run at 1080p using ultra-quality textures. Otherwise, you will run into all sorts of issues from stuttering to textures not loading in properly. For example, you'll have ultra textures enabled, but in reality you'll be seeing extra low quality textures on some surfaces. Ground, rocks, trees, basically any item or surface on your screen may get severely downgraded simply because there is not enough memory to store it. Looks beautiful, doesn't it? Sure, you can lower the texture quality to make everything fit into 8GB, but wouldn't you prefer not to have to deal with these problems in the first place? And this issue is only going to become more common in the coming months and years as game developers release true next-generation games that look amazing thanks to higher quality textures and effects which do require more memory. I truly hope that both AMD and Nvidia take note of this and design their future GPUs with higher memory capacity in mind. The way I see it, this graphics card generation is lost unless the companies start releasing 16GB versions of the RX 7600 and RTX 4060 for the price of 8GB variants. 
Due to how these GPUs are designed, 16 GB is the nearest next-level option they can produce. That is why Nvidia is launching the RTX 4060 Ti with 16 GB of memory, while the RTX 4070 and 4070 Ti are stuck with just 12 GB. Fun fact, the latest PS5 and Xbox consoles have 16 GB of memory. I'm pretty sure that PC is supposed to offer a superior visual experience. Not anymore, I guess. Unless you want to drop $500 on an RTX 4060 Ti 16GB version, according to Nvidia. But I digress. Let's get back to the RX 7600. If you play Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, then I have good news for you. The RX 7600 does surprisingly well in this game, outperforming the likes of RTX 3070, RX 6700 XT and newly launched more expensive RTX 4060 Ti. However, if your main game is Fortnite, then avoid the RX 7600, because in this game it performs pretty bad, on par with RX 6600 XT and RTX 3060. As for other games, I will just roll some benchmark results, so feel free to pause the video and examine the results in a game that tickles your interest. In conclusion, the RX 7600 brings an RX 6650 XT-like performance, while consuming similar amount of energy. I cannot recommend the RX 7600. I suspect that most gamers looking to buy a graphics card in this price range will come to a similar conclusion and buy an RX 6700 or 6700 XT instead while the stocks last. Even the RX 6650 XT is a much better deal because you can save $20 if you go with it instead of the RX 7600. In my opinion, the RX 7600 badly needs a price cut, down to something like $220 or $230. Otherwise, I don't see any reason to recommend it. I think we may have another messed up AMD launch where the company will be forced to lower the price a few months down the line. But that is what I think. What about you? Let me know your opinion about the RX 7600 in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, then give it a like and subscribe for more if you haven't already. It was I, Vadim. Until next time.